What is up guys? We were here and today I have decided to do review individual reviews of my Goodwill buys because that just means there's going to be more videos coming out. <sighs> and since a lot of people look forward to my, well not a lot, but a few look forward to my videos every day, I've decided to start doing everyday videos until I move and I don't know what's going to happen. So anyway, today we're going to start off with probably my most wanted die cast that I found uh, at Goodwill, which is 1995 David Green Bush Beer Chevrolet. Obviously now Bush Beer is sponsoring Kevin Harvick, but back then they were the sponsor of the Bush series, which was Xfinity now. They sponsored Ken Schrader at this time, I think. Um, he drove the 25, and he entered this car in for the... Um, for the person who won the most Bush Series polls that last season, I think, or it was the the champion of the year before, or whatever. Anyway, this was entered into the Bush Clash, or the Budweiser Shootout, or the Sprint Unlimited as it's known today. <sighs> Didn't run too well, all that. But yeah, like I said, Ken Schrader entered it. Not Hendrick, even though they're using the 25 font, it was actually David Green. I think this was entered twice. Uh... This was entered in only the shoot, the Bush Clash, and it was entered back-to-back -back years, I think, and then they stopped doing it for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the packaging anyway. David Green, one of 24,912. So it's not common. I mean, so it is common. It's very common, like I said, mass-produced. I bought this for $2.99. Originally, it was 15 bucks, but you could tell on the back. Bush Beer Racing, all that stuff, made by Action very early. It's not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of the molds, but whatever. Let's take a look at the card that it comes with. God damn, look at that caterpillar. So, what is David Green doing nowadays? He's a NASCAR official. I actually saw him at the Coke 600 on Pit Road, uh, checking out cars. It's actually pretty neat. On the back it says RCCA, so there's the card. Oh, let's take the car out of the packaging now. Now, I do trash the packaging of these because they're in uh, single packaging, so it doesn't really, you can't really put it in and out unless you decide to melt the glue off of it or something. Oh, God, it is on that mold. Oh, God, and it is rubber tires. Oh. This was the deluxe model, which means it had rubber tires, and which means it they, they could charge out the ass for it. I prefer, I like this mold, but I wish it was it had plastic tires on there. That's that's the only thing I wish they would have done. And we'll zoom in on it. So you guys can get a better peek of it. See if it'll focus. There we go. Just a pretty plain car. And that's how it was in uh, in the race as well. Pretty plain, just bush, uh, the Bush logos on it. Man, and uh, obviously, it. The problem with these cars is every time you take them out of the packaging, the t run of the it's always guaranteed that one of the rubber tires is going to be off the rim, and then you have to try to put it back on. And there's no playability to these. Obviously, it was meant as an adult collectible, but uh, God, this thing they run really rough, like just so rough that they, they don't even roll at all. Look at this. That's just, that's just a push. Usually they'll, I don't know, I'll use a Matchbox car. Matchbox cars will run like this. Well, this runs like this. Fun. But I do like it. I like this mold. But I don't like the tires on there. That's, that's just so, it's so weird. And it's so dumb. You can't even play with it. Ugh. Anyway. I've been looking for this car for a while. I didn't want to pay eBay prices for it. Obviously, who doesn't? Or who does, you know? <sighs> but I'm glad I haven't. It is technically a Hendrick satellite team, but this was really, really low equipment, so. Yeah, if you like what you saw, you can comment, like, and subscribe for more. I'll see you later.